post questions. You can even raise your hand. I believe you are able to see the presentation. I can see the presentation, which is entitled Accessing and Using E-Resources. Any query will be addressed by the librarians, the librarians in the house. I can see several of them. Uh, Malda is ready to go. Malda, welcome. Uh, let me unmute Kimaru. And unmute now. Okay. Hope everyone is ready to start our presentation. Okay. Uh, welcome to Ikaton University Library. Uh, we are offering various services in the library, and this is our campus, uh, branches, branch libraries. In Joro, we have main library, Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, which we normally do on campus. We have JB Rockefeller Research Library, and then we have Faculty of Education and Community Studies, which we call State Coast Library, and Records, Records and Management and Archives Center, which is RMAC. In Nakuru Town Campus, we have, we have Nakuru Town Campus College Library, East Library, Law Library, and Faculty of Health Sciences Library. Uh, our mission in the library is to support teaching, learning, and research needs of Ikaton University community by providing both print and electronic information resources, as well as quality user center services. Okay, in the library, we have uh, operating hours. In the main library during the semester, from Monday to Friday, we have issue desk which is where we humanly normally borrow books and you turn them. We call it searching and discussing of books. It will be open from 8 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. We have Africana, which is open from 9 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. Uh, reference section, which does, we open from 9 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. Resource center from 9 a.m. to 9.45 we have first library, which we normally open from 8 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. Fed Coast Library also we open from 8 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. Excuse me, mother. Yes. Your voice is too low. Please add a bit. Sorry. Okay. Yes, please. Your voice is breaking. Sorry. You, you are not that audible. Please increase the volume. Okay. Okay, okay, I hope I'm audible. Yeah, now you are okay. Okay, we have finally we have the JB Rockefeller Research Library. Mm, yes, yeah. excuse me, am I not audible? Yes, we can't hear you enough. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just a bit. Am I audible? Yeah, it's a bit better, mother. Okay. Yes. Then let's continue. Uh, we were in hours of operation in the library. On Saturdays, we open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And there are some sections which is normally don't open on Saturday. Issue desk is open from 3 to 7. It's reserved for short loan and paid course and first library. But the curriculum section and JP Rockefeller research section will be closed on Saturday. Okay, we have information resources in, in the library. We have in two forms we have print and e resources. Print are those which are available in the library physically. And e resources are available via the internet. And these e resources are the ones which are subscribed to by the university and are the scholarly, scholarly electronic resources which are subscribed through Kenya 
Kenya Library and Information Service Consortium, which is CLIP. And these e resources involve uh, electronic journals, electronic books, and electronic databases. I know some of you are wondering what's an e book, but there are some definitions. An e book is an electronic version of a print book, which can be downloaded. Excuse me, your voice is still breaking. Can you please do something on the same? Okay. But my audio now, is it still breaking? Okay, let's continue. Wait, wait. I downloaded all the and containing articles by the professors and other experts these e journals, even you as students, when you look at here or go here, you can also have these e journals, you can download uh, reputable journals, and it can be accessed through the internet by other students. Also, we have e databases, which are usually large collections of data organized especially for rapid search and retrieval. Benefits of using electronic services. They are uh, one of them. You can use these electronic services to complete your class assignments or for supplementation of lecture notes, or either if I need it for private study or further reading, general reading and conducting research. Uh, here we have a sample of the list of resources that they are taught by, the, by the university. And you can see them. We have the publishers and the subscribers. On your free time, you can log in to the university. You can see them and you can see them. We have a summary of our e-journals. We have e-journals, which are number 87,521. We have e-books, which are... Okay, sorry for the interruption. Uh, I was explaining, uh, the, the, I was giving you the number of ED sources, which are subscribed by the university. And e journals are 87,521. E books, 169,090. All these are accessible through our university library website. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, we have uh, different strategies for you to access and get reliable information. There are several research, there are such strategies which you can use so that you can get reliable information. One of them is you define your topic or research question. Doing this, you can do by summarizing your topic into a phrase or phrase to help you identify the key ideas and concepts that it will help you to get the reliable information. When you are doing this, please avoid words like roll off, impact of, or lead, lead to, discuss and analyze or describe. When, when you use these uh, key terms, it will maybe it will interfere with the results that you, are, you will get. Another such strategy is broadening, narrowing, and excluding searches using an or not. These terms are called Boolean operators. And when you use the word and, it narrows your search. This it does by, find, by finding all the articles with all words and is used for combining different concepts. For example, if you want to search for information which has diet and cancer, you will type diet and then cancer. It will give you all information that has the words diet and cancer. You can also uh, broaden your search by using the term or, and this will find articles with any word that you it, that is in, uh, in your search term. And it's used for finding similar words, e.g. 
you can search for diet or nutrition. So if you have a, a search query which asks you want to get information with diets or nutrition, it can give you either nutrition and then diets. So also you can use it to get your uh, research results. Also, you can use, use notes which excludes articles which have another word, but you don't want the other word. For example, if you are searching for information about nursing and you don't want other information about children, so it will also give, only give you information about nursing and exclude any other information with children. We also have truncation or wildcard searching. By this, you use asterisk to find alternative words ending to increase your search results. For example, when you want to search for information about nurse, nurses, or nursing, you, you will type N-U-R-S with an asterisk. So it will give you all information with a nurse or any information about nurses or nursing. Also, this, you can search for information about children, child, childhood, or childbirth by typing child with an asterisk and so on. You can use even when you want to search for information about management, manager, or managing. You will type manage with an asterisk and you'll get information. Then we have another search strategy, the fourth one, about refining your search. By refining your search, you can limit your search to full text. This will limit to articles which direct links to full text. Uh, for this search strategy, you'll know about it when you, we will do the pract practical parts. Hope you'll be shown and you'll know everything. Also, you can redefine your search by choosing the time frame. You can limit your search to five years, 10 years, or even four years. This you can redefine. So it will give you information within a given time frame. Also, you can choose by uh, searching the language. You can exclude other foreign languages, or you can, you can choose any language that suits you. The final one, you use other filters. Most databases offer expert filters. For example, you can filter your search in subject area, full access, or open access. So for this uh, final strategy, it will, you will be shown when we will be doing the practical. So this is the window where you can do the four strategies where you can search for information. I hope you see where my cursor is. You will type the word here. Like the, uh, we were saying, you can look for information about nurses, not children, or diets, and this one. So you will type here, then you search, then you will get your results. So let's see, these are the results. Let's say you are searching about information about genetics and rats. So it will give you all the information about genetics, rats, subject, the, the subject you can choose, whether you wanted it in an article or a book or a database, and then that is the subject now and so on. Even the year of publication, this is where you can do the four search strategies and these are the results. Okay, let's move to the next. Okay, from there, I will welcome Madam Ratanya so that she can show you the practical part and we, we can continue. Welcome, Madam Ratanya. Thank you very much, uh, Mother. I take this opportunity to welcome all the students from the Faculty of uh, Health Sciences in this forum who so feel at home and welcome. Uh, I'll take you through the off-campus success through a, plat a platform uh, known as the Remote Access. This platform has been subscribed or acquired by the university for your use. So bearing in mind that uh, you are out there uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, you'll now be able to access the electronic content or information wherever you are. So we can look very briefly at the, uh, the features of the Remote Access. It enables access to the library resources from a single location. And uh, it works on uh, uh, almost all devices, including the desktop computers, your laptops, iPads, iPhones, smartphones, and so on. 
And uh, it also requires a, a, a one login to access all the resources provided by the university library. So here you'll be required uh, to log in using uh, the login credentials, the username and passwords that will be issued by the library through the ICT department. So how do we register for the remote access? The first step, you are required to have an institutional email from your faculty. And I believe all the students from the faculty of held uh, right now, by now you have your institutional email. For example, if it's, if it's Moses or Chiang, the, uh, the email should ring to should read or Chiang at egaton.ac.ke. And then a welcome link will be sent from the university library to your official institutional email, whereby upon receiving it, uh, you will be uh, uh, required to, to maybe even you can change your, your, your password to a, 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 a memorable one or one which you can easily remember. And in case you forget the, the password, there's a link that uh, directs you to, to request for a new email. Next slide. Now, accessing the remote access, once registered with the email, with the institutional or email, uh, you'll be able to access the platform to, for the remote access via the library website. The library website is, is indicated there. Actually, the library webpage, it's indicated uh, on that URL, as you can see from the red uh, uh, um, shapes there, or you can uh, get it by the academics. So I'll later on, I'll take you through the live uh, website and we'll be able to see where the web page is and where the academics URL is. So let's continue. Now, when you land at the library page or the academics division, you will go straight uh, on your left-hand side where you see Egerton University Library. All the information about the university library is indicated there. Uh, please go through the information. You'll be able to realize the, uh, what the library administration is all about, library catalog and so on. And then at the very end, We'd like you to click there, off campus login. This is where you access the remote access. So let's see how that page will look when, once you're, you've clicked it. Yes, this is the login window to get you to the remote access. And as you can see where the arrow is, you'll be required to input the username and the password, which you'll have been provided for by the link which will be provided by the university library. So let's continue. So after logging in with the login credentials, you will now see a list of the e-resources, uh, which include the e-databases, e-journals, and e-books, as you've just been given the definition. So from here, you'll be able to choose the, a, a particular uh, a resource that you'd like to access. So for example, here we're giving the, uh, the example of Taylor and Francis yearbooks. I'll show you how to go about it. Let's continue. Now, for example, when you click at Taylor and Francis from the list of the e-journals or e-databases, you'll go to the uh, web page of Taylor and Francis, which is a renowned publisher of the scholarly materials. So from Taylor and Francis, you have a search box here. This is where you make where my cursor is moving, you make your basic search uh, using uh, the system of the search strategies that you've just been informed in the presentation. Next. So assuming you've made a search on the term or the phrase science, you'll be taken to the results of your, of your search. And as you can see, we have a, uh, 32 books and chapters are 265. So you just scroll through and identify the specific uh, book, book that you require and you go about, you go on and download it. So during mother's presentation, she talked about the filtering. How do you filter the type of book that you want? You can filter by clicking show content I have access to implying that all the content that you receive has been purchased or bought by the Egerton University. So in case some content is not available, 
it will be an indication that the university has not bought or subscribed to it. You'll also be able to filter again based on the subjects, maybe social sciences, we have behavioral sciences, ETC. So this is all based on what the university has subscribed. Okay, let's go on. Now, if you have chosen a specific book <clears throat> on science, for example, this book on science, you'll go straight to where the arrow is showing, where you can, you can download and maybe uh, you can either share with your or your colleagues or, or send to your email or save it in your computer for later reading. Next. Yes. Again, when you're navigating through the book, the, the, the Taylor and Francis uh, interface is very friendly, user-friendly. You just use these Skip. arrows here to go from one page to the other. So it's very, very easy for you to navigate through that particular e-textbook. Mm -hmm. Now, for our interest today, since our focus is on health sciences, we have various databases which focus on health content. But more specifically, we'd like to introduce to you to a, a very important e-database uh, from the Research for Life. So at this juncture, remember you are still logged into the remote access. So we want, we want to go to the Research for Life. Once you click the Research for Life from the list of the e-databases, this is where uh, uh, you'll be taken to the home page. And again, when you're at the home page, you'll be required to log in where this arrow is. So we have login credentials for the research of life. And of course, we'll share the login credentials with you. Here we are. Once uh, you click at the login tab, this is the page where you come. And these are the usernames. We'll share this presentation with you. So please take note of the username and password. Very, very important. And whenever you lose them, please don't hesitate to ask the librarians. So at this juncture, when we go to the demonstration, we'll use the username AG dash, that's not an underscore, it's a dash, K-E-N 002. And then the password is C-A-L-L-O-N I T O P, Kalonitop. So be very careful with the, with the spelling. They are all case sensitive. They are not. Okay, let's continue. So now we have logged in, and once we've logged into the research for life, this is the page which will appear. And since our interest is on Kinari, Kinari is an acronym for health. Internetwork Access to Research Initiative, a very important database for you. So we'll click at Hinari. Let's click, let's continue. So once you click at Hinari, this is the page which, which will appear. And remember, you'll see you are logged in from Kenya, the university faculty college. So the publishers are able to identify that you are logging in from Kenya because that is a password uh, uh, for Egerton University from Kenya. And a point of caution, in case you're outside the country, please do not use the login credentials for your institution. Just go to, the, to any uh, institution nearby and they'll be able to, to, to provide you with the login credentials to be able to access the resources. So let's continue. We'll talk about that later on. Now, when you log into, let's go back, please. The previous slide. Yeah. When you're at Hinari webpage, you may not be interested in the, the journal collections, but in case you're interested, you'll just view the complete list of journals and select a specific journal which will answer your, your, your or which will be addressing your, your subject area. Alternatively, you look at the book collection. It's again uh, uh, arranged in alphabetical order, A to Z. So you just view, click on view complete list of books. 
let's continue now after we click on the complete list of books now this is where we can make our basic search the interface is so easy for you to understand so you go to where the search box is and you search you put in uh, your subject area or maybe your 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 the, the particular phrase that you want to search so in this case we are looking for immunology let's search for immunology mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, next. Yeah, when we when we are searching for immunology, let's go to the previous list, previous slide. When we click, when we type immunology and then click on search, we'll get some results here indicating that there's only one result based on our uh, that topic that we are searching. So here uh, we have one topic, physio uh, physiology, and pathology of immunology. Those are medical terms. So you just click on that particular book. Uh -huh, next. And it will give you a full text. So when we are going to the demonstration, you'll actually see how the full text looks like. And when you scroll down, you either now you can print the chapter and uh, at the same time in this print option, you can save it, download it and save it in your comp for further reading. Yeah, this is how a full text of a book chapter looks like. This is chapter one. We have the, the title there. We have the authors, very, very important. In your fourth year, you'll be required to make your references. This is very, very important, the year of publication and uh, the, 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 the location, the URL, where that book chapter is located online. So you just go read through and save for your later use. We'll see that when we demonstrate. Thank you. So please, uh, in the uh, process of your searches, don't hesitate to consult the librarians through the email address, which is given here. We are also in Facebook. Please follow the library uh, to Facebook. We are also in Twitter. Please talk to us and we'll be able to address your issues. So I would like us to go online. Maybe the host who can allow me to share my screen. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes, now you are sharing, I'm sharing my screen. So we are at the searching from the search, um, or search engine. Let's go to the university website. So it is Egerton University. Sorry. This is the university website. I hope it's clear to everyone. And uh, when you look at the uh, university website, there's so much information that you can learn from it uh, as you uh, proceed with your studies. So during your free time, please look at the tabs, look at every tab, if it's admission, academics, just na navigate through and find out the information in your university. So that in case of anything, you can be able to know where to get some important information. And as we in the COVID era, or this juncture, please read some of these messages. They are very, very important so that you are able to protect yourself. So now I want us to go to academics. We go to the university library. That's one option. Or at the top, there is the tab for library. You can still get to the, 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 the university library from that tab. So let's let's use this one from academics. You click there. It takes you to the university library. And as you can see, when you scroll through on your left hand side, there's all the information about the university library. Please get your time and, uh, uh, and, and navigate through. We have our catalog very important. In case you have a textbook from your reading list 
and you're not able to get it online, you can always consult the librarians for a drop, drop in purposes. Also read about us, read our vision, our mission, ETC. We also have rules and regulations. Please familiarize yourself with the same. And then now our interest today, we want to go to the off-campus login so that you'll be able to uh, log in and use the materials which are subscribed uh, at the comfort of your, of your homes. So we click there. And this is the page which will take us to the remote text. So since I have my login credentials, I will log in with my username and I log in with my password. Wow. Give me a moment, I log in. Yes, now I'm logged in. And uh, I'll just go to home. Sorry. This is where I wanted you to see. Now, this is the list of the e-resources, the databases, the e-journals, and the e-books that we have for your use. So during your free time, please go through the list. And each list has a, a, a target subject. So if you're interested in a given area, you can just go straight and click in that uh, uh, e-database or e-journal. So this is the entire list. So our interest today, if time allows, we can look at Taylor and Francis e-books. They have medical or, or material there, even science, direct, uh, the Springer e, free e-books, etc. But now let's look at research for life. It's here. You just click. When you're at the research for life again, you'll be required to log in. So let's click at this tab, login. The login again, after now we've clicked there, you'll again be required to input the login credentials, the username and password that I gave you in the presentation. So our username was ag dash K-E-N 002, and then the password, C-A-O-L-L-O-N-I-T-O-P, Halonitop. Then you click Login. So now after you log in, you have, you can see various databases here, some in agriculture, innovation and technology, uh, some which are related to law, Goali, the Zoara environment, and finally there's Hinari Health. So this is our major interest here. So you just click and it will take you to the search platform. Now, when you are here, we said, uh, Sorry, on the book collection. So let's click at the view complete list of books. Are we together? I hope my screen I'm sharing. No, I'm not sharing. Oh, at least I share your screen. I share. Yes. Uh, Somebody, something is not right. Are we okay now? 
Yes. yes. Mr. Rotich, thank you. Something, yeah, we are there. So as I was saying, we click at Hinari. Once we are logged in, something must have happened somewhere. So yeah. and like you are. OK. Is it OK now? Uh, yes. Click Max. Okay. Suppose when you click there, it's it's like it is uh, at the center. Maybe you can click the complete full screen or uh, this it is full. It's full, eh? Just a moment. Is it okay now? Mm. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Okay, go yes. ahead. Yeah, it's uh, visible it now. So we, yeah, so we click at the view complete list of books so that we make our search. From here now is where we can we can be able to make our search from this search box. For example, now let me search for anatomy, which is a a, a, a medical terminology. And then I click search or enter. So with anatomy, the results are found here. We have one to four or four results. So you just go through and select what you're interested in. Maybe for this case, we are interested in this first uh, the second result, which is anatomy, poster, prevalence, pain, uh, to see. Just a moment. So when I click at this result, it will take me, sorry. It will take me to the, to the book. So I'll just scroll through. Uh, don't worry about ordering the hard copy. Just go down and you'll actually appreciate how many times this particular book has been downloaded. For example, total chapter downloads are 3,685 uh, and the other parameters, but I know that would not be of your interest now. So if I want to look at the, the chapters, chapters are indicated here. The first chapter, muscle pain, muscles, kiddos, objective analysis, you see. So maybe I'm interested in uh, maybe even muscle pain. Let's take the second one, objective analysis of evaluation. Okay. Look at it. Now we want to read it. This is the title, objective mm -hmm. analysis for evaluation. The of the mm -hmm. So just scroll through. Hello, Krista. Yeah. Excuse. Yeah. We are unable to see what you are you are doing. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Where, are Where are we? Where are we? Is it visible? No, it's not. It's not visible. It's not visible. We are at Hinari. Homepage. You are there? No, yeah. no, no, yeah. Are we there? Yeah. Yes, yes, we are there. Yeah. So let's go, let's go again to Hinari. So again, we go to the complete list of books. It's happening. And then I search for anatomy. So from the anatomy, we have the results here. And I said, after you go through, you pick what interests you. Let's maybe, maybe uh, take the second one, anatomy poster, prevalence pain. 
now the book opens. This is where we are. So as you can see, the book looks like the exact hard copy, which is here. So we can read through. And as I said here, please don't worry about ordering the hard copy. Just go through so that now you can go through the chapters in that particular book. And from the chapters, you'll be able to see on your right hand side how many times it has been downloaded, but this may not interest you right now. So for demonstrative purposes, let's look at the second chapter, Objective Analysis for Evaluation, the Stress of the Hand. You just click at it and it brings you the, that particular chapter. From the title, we have the abstract. And then from here, very important, we have sections of that particular chapter. There's a chapter and in author information, introduction, literature review, ETC. So you may continue reading the abstract. You can also go to the introduction, just read through. You can even uh, still proceed to the literature review. We just want to get that flow of the book. So as you read, you may realize that you may not complete uh, uh, the, 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 the book online. When you're online, uh, maybe due to challenges here and there of the bundles, etc. So what you can do, you want now to download that this particular chapter. And as we said, this is where you click. When you say print chapter, it will open uh, that particular chapter in a PDF format. Here it is, which allows you to either print or even download it or, or yeah, download it. So you click at this tab here to download it and save it in your, in your computer or you can share with your colleagues. So when I click here, uh, it will take me to where I want to save. And then maybe you have to be very particular with the file name, let's say anatomy. And then you choose where you want it to be in your desktop or other uh, place that you want it to be reachable. And then you just save. So that particular book chapter has been saved in your comp. Now you can go ahead and even share it via email. I think that's what I wanted to share. Excuse me, Madam Let's Madam. Have, Before yes. you log out, show them where they can log out from the, the home page of the e-resources. Just go back. Okay. To, yeah. So again, you can now sign out from Hinari. You are always advised not to leave or the platform on and running. Please always sign out from here. So here, when I just click there, I'll be signed out and I may not go further. We also have the remote access, the tab for the remote access. Go to user profile. Oh, sorry? User profile, yeah. yeah. Yeah, from the user profile, you log out. Meaning that now your session is over and it's not running. But this will take time. You may not understand it right now, but with time, please keep uh, uh, addressing your issues to the librarians and they'll be able to help you out. Thank you very much. I think I can stop sharing my. I can stop sharing my screen now. Okay, so, uh, Felistas. Yes. Please. Just stay there because uh, maybe I'm seeing some questions which you may you hello, hello. request you to use the portal. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, uh, Felistas, for that presentation and also Martha. Uh, I'm sure our first years are enlightened on how they can utilize the electronic resources that the university subscribe to. As you can see, there are many, and uh, I, we know that this is new to you. 
So for you to get uh, acquainted to them, we need to do a lot of practice. Always uh, visit our, our, our platform, sign in, search for resources as you read, uh, you are, do your assignments and even read the topics that you have been given. Always use the platform so that you can, once you are familiar with it, you'll find it easier. At the initial stage, it might find, look complex, but it's easier and they are user friendly. Uh, from the questions that are, have been raised by the participants, I'm seeing that there are, are very few. Okay, I wanted to clarify that uh, this session was meant for faculty of health, but there are a number of uh, users who indicated that they missed their sessions and there are a number we invited them, like the members from faculty of uh, veterinary, medicine and surgery. I invited a number of them to join the faculty of health students, but the approach is the same. We, we use the faculty of health uh, in our examples because that was the target groups, but uh, the, the approach is the same. You just key in your subject area and use the same resources and also the others. So just to clarify. So to answer the questions, I think there is one who says he can't see the the inari in the in the list. I can ask Ratanya to to show them. Let me log in again. Oh my where's my my login details. Just a moment, please allow me to log in. As, uh, she is logging in. Uh, also to mention, I'm sure there are some who registered at the university late, and maybe at this point they haven't gotten their remote text uh, logins. Just write a uh, Write us an email to the. We share the. We'll share the emails in our in the as we'll be sending the presentation. So write an email to us using the e-resources at ticketon.ac.ke and we'll activate your account. Okay, Felistas, you can now continue. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Rotich. As you had said, you log into the uh, remote access, and uh, once you are logged in. This is the page which will appear uh, showing the list of the e-databases. You can see here, we have uh, e-journals as well and, uh, and the, the e-books. So since you may not be able to exhaust all the, the entire list, uh, the list is actually provided for you to, uh, to, to navigate at your own pace. So somebody is asking where the Hinari is. The site for life. The, the, the Hinari is under uh, research for life. So you click the research for life. Actually, this is a program which, uh, which is home for various databases. And you'll be required again to log in here. You click at this tab. And remember during the PowerPoint presentation, I gave out the username and password. So the username is AG, because in small letters, dash KEN002. And then the password is C A L L O N I T O P. And then you click login. So this is where Hinari is. Hinari is part or it's one of the five databases provided by the Research for Life program. And as you can see, the other databases, they have their own respective subject areas. For example, if we have students in this forum who are under agriculture, a very good database for you to use is Agora, which comprises of agriculture, forestry, fishery, climate, food security, and other subjects. And then we have RD, Innovation and Technology. Please navigate that. If you are doing law, we have uh, the Guali, 
sorry, we don't want to go there. We go to Hinari. So you just click at Hinari. This is where Hinari is and is where you, you, are, you are required to, to start your, your searches. Does it answer that, Mr. Rotich? Yeah, it answers. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Madam Felistas. Yeah. I'm sure now they have uh, gotten the clarification and they'll be able to use the database. Uh, since we don't have any questions, I don't know whether there's anybody among the librarians who want to add anything from what uh, Felistas and Mata have uh, presented. Any addition? Morning. 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 Yeah, what I wanted to add was that uh, mm -hmm. nowadays when you go to Research for Life, it searches across all the databases at the same time. So you do not need to specify whether you are doing Hinari, Agora, or whichever. You just uh, enter your search term and it will search all of the databases, the, the five of them and give back the results, are they five or four, and give back the results okay. using one password and one username. Thank you, Millicent, for that uh, clarification and addition. Any other feedback from uh, any librarian? I, I think we're okay. okay. Okay, so thank you so much for participating in these uh, presentations. As I mentioned, kindly practice and where you feel uh, you need further assistance, don't hesitate to write us an email or even use the social media that we have shared and which also will share as we will send the presentation. So enjoy your studies and welcome once again to Egerton University. Those are the, our contacts the email, the Facebook account, and the Twitter. Use any of them and you will reach us and we'll give you, we'll answer your queries. Uh, so at this juncture, I can ask somebody in the room to end with a word of prayer. We started with a word of prayer and uh, I think I've had a good uh, presentation. So let's end with a word of prayer. Any volunteer? Listen. Mute her. It seems okay. Okay, let muted. me. Okay. 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 Let me pray. I've unmuted. Okay, Father, we thank you for this session that we've had. Thank you for everything that we learned, and even for the presenters who took us through. We pray that even as we continue using the resources, you're going to also continue. Uh, uh, protecting us uh, as we are away from our campus. We pray that uh, everything will come to an end as far as the pandemic is concerned and our users are going to be able to come back to campus and use our resources. But for the meantime, we pray that we may cause them to remember that which they've been taught. And even as they use their resources, we also pray that mighty God, they may be of use to them because we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you and welcome.